And hello there, this is Izix, another episode of Minecraft from the Banana Viking server, where we are just going to the nether here. Need a moment. Advanced portal. It is auxiliary portal. There's a portal over here now. Pretty nice setup here, actually. Let's see where this takes us. Whee! Oh. There's spawn. There's big mushroom over there. Yes, we're on top of that mysterious tower and there's somebody here. Ow. Hi. 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 You're so, in my tower. Yes. So so this is your tower. This is my tower. It's a pretty sweet tower. I thank you. I got, got the, the uh you know, the bone blocks and the uh, the quartz and the the fencing and everything like that. This is it's pretty sw swank here. It's uh, it's my first try. I uh, don't know much about Minecraft, but I know a tiny bit about architecture. Oh, well, I was, wait, wait, who, who, who are you? Where did you come from? Careful, you're standing on a saw there. Oh, that's why my my, my tail was all yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I I'm Jasper. I know Isix. From uh, conventions we, we yes. met, and um, uh, I uh, normally, if it weren't a pandemic right now, I'd be uh, working for the Parks and Recreation. Um, I studied landscape architecture, community planning, urban design, uh, and real estate financing, so I have a bunch of degrees, but um, I'm not an architect, I just have an interest in, in, an arch in architecture. Hmm. Uh, so Minecraft is uh, natural for me. Um, so trying to learn how to make all the different textures and apply them and make it, uh, you know, usable. You can navigate the space and remember Dude. which spot you're in and find and what, your way around intuitively. What materials are wire? So yeah, this is uh, a lot of cobblestone. Initially, I started by building everything out of cobblestone, mm -hmm. and I realized that texture is like real ugly when you have a ton of it. Yes. So I've been uh, gradually replace replacing pieces um, to kind of add, you know, emphasis where I want the eye to be drawn, and you know, uh, de-emphasizing places that are a little bit monotonous. I understand, and I see. It has evolved quite a bit. In fact, you got yeah, well, a giant bridge over there as well. And what, what all yeah. you been building out of here? It's been a few days since I've been over. Yeah, I've been slowly colonizing out into the uh, into the, the ocean and across the archipelago. Hmm. Or is it archipelago? I'm not sure. Archipelago, I think. I put these uh, glass blocks in here because um, I'm really not completely solid on how to prevent mobs from spawning i uh i think i've got all my areas lit pretty well but they still show up now and then so this glass helps me figure out where they are when they're chasing me around my fortress ah yes um here's my solution <laughs> there yeah that, no more mobs here <laughs> I only discovered lanterns just yesterday. Oh. I think they're they're brighter, aren't they? I don't know, actually. They might be. Uh, don't got me on me, though. Hmm. Well, they certainly are prettier, so I've been uh, using lots of them. Yes. They, they have some I specific have... restrictions, but you know. Yeah. I, I may have overused them, but you know. So oh. we could go down or we can go across the bridge? Do you um, have a preference? Let's go across the bridge first. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, this started out as all cobblestone, and I've been gradually figuring out how to pattern it. It doesn't look great from the people walking on the bridge. It looks really good uh, when you're on a boat approaching the bridge, which I think is a little bit more of a priority for me right now. Yes, I, I um, totally understand that. <laughs> yeah, so here I've just got a bunch of stuff crafting set up. Um, but, uh, the interesting stuff is down here. Ooh. So I have, uh, a little prisoner in my dungeon. Yes. A pillager this guy, boss guy. Um, I can't kill him because that will, um, Give put you a curse. curse on yes. me. 
don't really know enough about Minecraft to risk that kind of stuff. I don't yeah. want to break your mushroom tower with a, a yeah, raider. I, I could get you some uh, milk, or I could do it myself. Yeah, that's true. If you, if you ever need so, a little help. So I'm trying to keep a diversity of trees here so I can get mm -hmm. different wood. Uh, that's also just kind of something instinctual for me uh, from my education as a landscape architect. Mm -hmm. You always want to have a diversity of tree species so that if yeah. one gets a disease, they don't all get wiped out at the same time. Yep. But uh, uh, I don't think they have, uh, like, you know, fire blight or other tree diseases in Minecraft. So kind really. of kind of irrelevant. But, you know, uh, it still, but, still gives the right feel. Yeah. You know, it's and, a complicated uh, then, space. Uh, I uh, got these sheep from another island. I didn't know you could transport sheep in a boat, so I built the bridge mostly just to get the sheep <laughs> from the other island over here. So, well, total they're... overkill. <laughs> they're over here now, so it all works. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we can go down a little further. Ooh. And this is a little garden that I built today. Um, it's great. So... Uh, just trying to have a little braided stream that looks nice from the platform as you arrive and, and you can walk down and maybe you can ride the stream like a little lazy river. Oh, I remember it, Typhoon it, Lagoon at uh, Disney World is yeah. the, the best lazy river. I try to keep it kind of believable, you know? Mm -hmm. Water flowing in a general direction that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, God. And then it's just kind of... <laughs> Yeah. Spits you out. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you can kind of walk back up if you want this way. But uh, down at the, the very bottom, there's a, a funny little um, pool of water that you can jump in. And um, there's bubbles going in the two different directions using... Um, uh, the lava blocks that will pull you down and the um, uh, soul sand that pushes you up. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of like navigate up and down this weird canyon. Nice. Whee! <laughs> First time I uh, hit this patch of water, it didn't have the soul sand, it just had the magma blocks. I so I trouble. very quickly drowned. <laughs> Whoops, and, uh, uh, yeah. I hope you didn't lose too much stuff there. I I was lucky I got there very quickly, but uh, at the time I, I kind of panicked. Um, uh, what's his name? But how's it pronounced? Van Velding? Yes, Van Velding. Van Velding was on the server and he's like, Do you need any help? And I like screamed in all caps and like, Yes, please! <laughs> So maybe that's why he asked me that one question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, out here, this is like an alternate exit. You can come out through here. Whee! And um, I put these pillars up because I had a problem with um, the drowns mm -hmm. throwing spears at me while I was landscaping. Yeah, they're kind of jerk faces. Yeah, so this series of kind of vertical bars intercepted their uh tridents so that at least i had a little bit more warning when they uh attacked me mm -hmm. i could get back to shearing my sheep and, and mowing living, my grass yeah you know, living the good life yeah mm. my prisoner <laughs> such a fascinating place you have And uh, you're so, still building stuff over there. That's not done, correct? Yeah, that's not really done yet. It goes over to like a swamp biome. So and, like uh, ash? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> so as you're coming back towards the tower, you can see there's kind of like a face in the tower. That mm -hmm. was actually an accident. I was just kind of playing around, and then I noticed it looked like a face. So I went up there and used bone blocks to kind of reinforce that. Nice. And then I started realizing, like, once I, I had a prisoner in my uh, um, dungeon, and I had this big skull face on the top of my tower, I'm like, wait a minute, am I the bad guy? <laughs> Maybe. I just well, assumed this whole time. Yeah, usually I'm the one who assu uh, uh, to assume that they're evil one in the on a server, but uh, 
you are having the kind of Tower of Doom thing going on here. <laughs> well, to be fair, you have a um, uh, an iron factory that that is you know draining the fear out of villagers. Yes, <laughs> it is a mushroom of terror. <laughs> Pretty much. So, um, so maybe we're both evil. Hmm. That might explain yeah. some things, actually. Some sort of consortium of genius going on here. <laughs> and here's your secret so, underground layer. So here, uh, here's where I keep water for doing agriculture when when I need a bucket, mm -hmm. uh, or if I run into some lava. And here I have um, my hall of trees. Holy trees, Batman! And usually it takes a lot to harvest them because they're very tall. So I yes. made a second floor up there, and there's like a little catwalk I can walk along to get the tops of the trees. Nice. And then there's also a basement. Uh, we can. There's more? Here. You've been there's building more. a lot. Yeah, and then down here we usually get some mob spawning in my basement. I get a lot of slimes and uh, zombies down here. Mm -hmm. And I've got some more uh, soul sand growing. Um, the nether, nether wart for potions. Mm -hmm. Now, did you put these uh, mushrooms down here yourself? I did. Um, I started with a couple, and they just kept on multiplying. Excellent. So if, oh, they they only multiply uh, when the light level is below a certain level. And I don't oh, remember okay. if that's above or below the spawning uh, light level. So. Yeah. so maybe something to look into. Okay, that might be a solution to my problem. So these <laughs> mines, can grow. <laughs> uh, I might continue this uh, this little like um, tree lined boulevard theme. Um, this actually, this mine goes all the way over to your base. Oh, yeah, it this intersects. With, yeah, it intersects with your mines actually. Neat. Hmm. Yeah. Then we don't have to like take a boat over to them. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a little faster in a boat, but yeah, true. And then these uh, overhead blocks that are kind of uh, repeating pattern here. Um, these um, hold in the water. Are, yeah, they're holding water for my trees. And the white stripes and soil I use like kind of as a guideline so that I know where I am in the build, so I don't accidentally break through somewhere where I'm not supposed to be. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, and then I put these doors on because zombies and such. Yes. You can hear them knocking on them and whenever they get angry. Now, yeah, I, I, I do have a, I do have a suggestion if you are are looking for some. Um, oh yes, the, the the blocks, uh, you know that you know that hang down below. Uh, if you uh -huh. are interested in having the lower level be more lit, you could uh, replace them with uh, glowstone. Oh, that's a great idea. I think I might do that. Yes, uh, should still be plenty of glowstone in the Nether, so it's not been yeah. in high demand yet. So. So here's uh, the catwalk, so I can come out here and uh, trim the trees from the top and get the last of the wood mm -hmm. when sometimes they grow up pretty tall. So would you say that we're walking down the catwalk? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going as Voxelvix right here, um, but most of the time I am Jasper the Tuxedo Cat. Yes. A big so, kitty. Isaac knows me as a cat more. Yeah. So this uh, this hallway goes down. Um, I'm considering digging out the spaces between these hallways to um, uh, add a just a huge row of trees that goes all the way to Isaac's base. Hmm. So this leads all the way there. It, yeah, it could. So it, it would be hundreds of trees. So I probably would yeah. never finish it. <laughs> it would be one of those situations where you set up the trees and then you. Never get around to harvesting them when you need them. <laughs> through, through this door is a uh, an, uh, dark area that I have not gone through and, and explored yet. Hmm. So there's zombies. Spookiness. You can hear them. Somewhere along here. Oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong tunnel. So there's another tunnel over <laughs> here. I don't know if I can get, break through to it easily. Um, there's the a, a pool that I discovered um that that is just in a perfect place that i'm probably going to turn into like a little kind of like hot tub lounge thing that overlooks the trees 
Was it the pool I uh, poked my head into a few moments ago? Possibly. What? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I think it's back this way. Yes, here it is. So yeah, I just kind of happened upon this, and it was um, almost exactly this shape. Wow, <laughs> that's kind I of amazing. It just... They're rarely the square. Yeah. yeah. So I cleaned it up uh, just to, to make sure that I didn't accidentally flood my forest. Makes sense. Who knows? Maybe it'd look good with a, a waterfall. But the forest is just right on the other side of this wall here. I think. <laughs> Should be. Unless we're too far. Oh, that's, yeah. Actually, that's because the forest is way back this way. <laughs> but the forest would eventually be just on the other side of the wall here. Would you like your blocks? What's that? Would you like some blocks? Uh, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, adjoining my uh, my base is um, a big, uh, huge underground mine shaft, abandoned mine shaft, mm -hmm. and that is basically in every direction. So yes. all of these doors all go to the mine shaft. Or Let's a library. Say, oh yeah, this one goes <laughs> to my library. This is where I do my my potions and stuff. Your dark magic and your evil. Yes. Evil dark magic. Man, you got uh, more stuff I than was, I do. <laughs> I was watching some um, YouTube channels and I saw that they put their uh, um, their crafting stuff down into the floor, mm -hmm. which is kind of a neat way to save space. Agreed. You got a grindstone and everything. Yeah, I kind of have everything uh, sorted out here. I keep botanicals in here and this is my enchanting stuff. And then over here is potion stuff. Mm. And over here, uh, more like adventuring things, my swords and shields and stuff for when I'm going this way. Because uh, through these doors, everything wants to kill you. Well, ah. At least it used to. So Something about maybe baby spiders? Yeah, I had a lot of baby spiders. Oh, slime. 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 You want this one? I've been... Uh... Killing a few okay. slimes uh, in my area recently. Oh, oh don't don't waste your boat uh, on the on the little ones. Okay. They're harmless. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> but they're still good to kill. <laughs> <laughs> it's whole time. Because uh, slime balls are super useful if you know how to make use of them. So go ahead and grab those. Uh, so let's go this way. Grab the slime or... bombs first. Okay. They're important. Uh, this is probably the most scenic way. Okay. So here is the canyon Ooh. that was filled with abandoned mine shafts. And you could get lost in here for days. Oh man, there's so many mobs. I forgot to bring a bow. <laughs> you didn't well, bring a bow? Yeah, I'm a fool. I can grab you one. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, if anything comes at us, I'll just stab them, all right? Okay, you can just run. But why run when I can dance? <laughs> so I, I'm trusting you to uh, navigate us uh, around here. Okay. Oh. That, would, that almost turned into a tragedy. Yeah? I thought you were going to shoot me. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I don't really know. Like, unlike you, uh, I'm not, I haven't really codified a great way for um, navigating yet. Baby, baby zombie. Oh. Ah. Take that, you SOB. So I get lost a lot. So I don't really know where we're going. Do any of us, though? Not really. So okay. I'm down on the floor of the canyon. If we get separated there. Yeah, I'm behind you. But yeah, I just kind of wander around if I... Uh, 
um, need some coal or something, I'll wander down here and dig for a while. And then I'd never really know where the exit is. I'm just wandering until I see something familiar and come back. So I like, get lost a lot. Like a couple ladders? of times I've had to get... What's that? Like these ladders? <laughs> yeah. So a couple of times I had to have Izix come and save me because I was totally lost <laughs> out of food. And, like, you know, We've only myself. met for the first time today, man. For real, Izix. <laughs> Hello, zombie. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. Uh, uh, you were uh, trapped uh, basically closer to spawn from here. And there was a, a whole bunch of caves that you uh, died, correct? Yeah, I died several times in those caves. <laughs> and this comes out right over by you. Oh. The secret way. Yeah. So now you know that there's this secret passageway. Yes, a hidden doorway. Nice. So, so if you uh, want to dress that up, you feel free to. All right. Now there, there's a couple of random can, holes that pop up here and there. So. Yeah, you can see the uh, the bridge a little better from here. Mm -hmm. I do have to say that looks fa fantastic. By the way. Thank you. Still so, coming along. Yes, it's like a, a, you know a a mix of like uh, medieval and cyberpunk. It's it's pretty great. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Well, so, we should probably get back to somewhere safe. Hello, the sun is setting. Follow me. Whee! So I think that uh, pretty much concludes the tour. <laughs> so I'm I, not much. Yeah. So, so come over to my area. Okay. Yes. So. So I'm not much of a video gamer. So, this is. Uh, Really, uh, really stretching it for me. <laughs> That's all right. You know, Minecraft is for everyone, really. It really is. I felt a little embarrassed, like, you know, telling people like, oh, yeah, I'm getting back on Minecraft. Like, what are you, like, eight years old? <laughs> but no, seriously, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have no idea. This is the greatest. Perhaps a little change since the last time you played seriously, though, right? What's that? It's probably changed a bit since you last played, right? Yeah, I I played like, you know, maybe five years ago for, I don't know, a week. And I uh, downloaded this skin and made my uh, um, screen name and all that stuff and mm -hmm. then didn't play it for five years. I don't really know what all changed in the past five years, but... <laughs> a lot. Um, though, though, though there are some things that are, are very much the same, but there are some mm -hmm. uh, new tricks and new, new craziness. And, uh, so, uh, for, for, the, for the rest of this episode, shall we fight the wither? Sure. <laughs> no, the answer is oh, no. God, the answer, idea. the answer is hell no. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, how about something, uh, even better to celebrate you, uh, join us here on the server. Um, how about we set off some missiles? Oh God. What have you done? Would you like to set off a missile? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Come over here. We got some uh, got some traveling to do, you see. I know it's dark out. I know the night is full of terrors and things like that, but get in the boat. And we'll, uh, I'm in the boat. Be on our way. It's not too far, thankfully. Because, uh, you know, I've been uh, doing my... Ah! Oops. You trying Sorry. to murder me? <laughs> No, I was shooting arrows into the sky. All right, I didn't know that it would. Uh, oh, here, I charge the boat down. So just go to the okay, uh, right sand right in front of you. So weird. I'm usually in charge of the boats. Right here. Yes. All right. Okay. So so, come down here. All right. Come down here. Oh. So you 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 see. These, these things with devices and green and all that, right? Yeah. So so do not break them. So that's the first, okay. first important thing. They are, they are they are ready for action, I think. Let me check one thing just to be sure. Uh, yes, that is correct. Are you uh, ready for some adventure? Uh, yeah. All right. I want you to take ready this piece of sand. Take this piece Say of sand. Again? Take this piece of sand. Okay. Right here, right here. No, 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 here. There you go. Now, see where I'm standing right here? Okay, yes. So, put this piece of sand on that block. Right there. Okay. 
I'm not sure why they didn't work. Um, oh, no. oh, 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 I know. I'm such a fool. There we go. All right. Try it again. Okay. Oh, it didn't work again. Um, oh, wow, yes. I'm once more a fool. All right, go ahead and break the slant block. Hmm. Um, okay. Now, now put, put it there again. Okay. Should you For be reals? standing on it while we're doing this? Probably not, but I'm very confused right now. Oh, I, I figured out what happened. All right. All right. I'll, I'll have to fix that. My bad. My bad. I screwed up again. Oh, no. <sighs> so instead, put your sand block right here. Okay. Right. But but not, okay. not, not yet. I need to finish fixing this because I screwed it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought I had this all ready, but I didn't test it because testing it makes it go. Uh. Uh, give it a try. Oh, it moved. Yes. Then it stopped. I'm not sure why. Mm. Oh, because clearly. All right. So I'm going to be having to do something here as you send it on the way. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's fine. My my missile program is, is not faring too well here. Um, <laughs> it's okay, North Korea. We still take you seriously. <laughs> hmm. It's not pulling the previous bit of madness here. Hmm. I'm not sure why. Oh, no. Okay, this is fine. Well, how it should work is that you get these uh, pistons pushing and pulling each other, and they push this bit of slime block and dirt block through these water blocks. Uh huh. And because for at least a couple ticks, there is a different block in the place of the water block, the water block goes away. Okay, that makes sense. And then it moves on and pushes it forward. And so there's no more source blocks where this passes through. That's really clever. And so I don't have to fill up this entire volume with sand in order to clear it out. I just huh. have to get these working properly. Which they're not yet. I'm not sure why. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the tunnel cleaners from the labyrinth. <laughs> the cleaners! <laughs> Remember that? Oh, I, think I, I think I might have found, found the bug. All right, I'm going to try this again. One more time for posterity. Okay. It did something. Yeah, it's not. It's not pulling this though. It should though. Why is this not pulling properly? Hmm. Well, I could always uh, take it apart real quick if you don't mind me spending a couple minutes on this. Go ahead. Wow. All right. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. Okay. And a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of those. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> well, uh, it, I, I think it might be getting uh, stuck on uh, basically this here, so I'm going to have to actually dig all of this out as I go along here, but you get the general idea, right? Mm hmm It's very cool. Yeah. So uh, maybe next time I'll have the missiles working properly for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I could change this up real quick. Uh, that's like that. Um, oh, heck. I uh, don't know if that's source block or not. In case it isn't, well, we'll, we'll, we'll give this a try. Wink. Go. And so it's not going to clear out that. So it's only going to clear out two here. And activate. Hey. There we go. 
and because and it's, it's not, almost working. Yeah, <laughs> actually, it's working. <laughs> working best yet. Hooray! Right. <laughs> oh, it's also clearing out all the uh, seaweed kelp stuff. Yes. So if you need some seaweed kelp, uh, this is a thing to use. <laughs> Ooh -ha. Yeah, I don't think uh, it's clearing out all the blocks it needs to. So there is actually a source block right there in the corner. But yeah, you just get the general gist of how these things work, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. I just needed to rotate the uh, where the slime blocks were. <laughs> But uh, it will eventually come to a complete stop when it hits a block over here. And then you can be all like, oh, that was neat. And then, because everything's screwed up and uh, everything's painful in life, um, <laughs> I, could, I, could, I could take it apart pretty easily. And uh, then take all these bits and pieces right back to the other side and uh, set up for another missile. Hmm. And I can... Ooh. Do this for days on end, if I so like. Or, you know, until this is all cleared out. But uh, and before I can really f uh, do this you know, on like a massive scale, I need to enclose the entire thing in glass. Yeah. So, sun! Thankfully, there's a fair bit of sand. <gasps> Slimes. You kind of talked about making a, a slime farm oh, or something. Yes. Take that, slimes! Get down. This is a good start. I can at least come in here and kill them occasionally, and suddenly there's so many babies! Die, children! Is that is that evil enough yet? Probably. <laughs> Just don't shoot me, alright? <laughs> Hooray! And yeah, I think we got all of them. That's uh, maybe enough slimes for another missile then. Hmm. Oh, nice. Yes. I have I a bunch of slimes that I'm not using currently, if you want all of them. If you don't mind, but uh, yeah. I, I, I don't want to deprive you because they're really useful. What are they used for? Well, the slime blocks, for one, uh, yeah. allow you allow you to uh, build, do crazy piston devices like the one I showed you. Okay. Uh, you can also uh, use them to make sticky pistons, which are also a, an essential element. And that's the main uses I remember. There might be something else. Hmm. There's another big slime down there. Death from above! Ma! 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 Yeah. I guess so, I can get down by just digging through the sand. Is that okay? Uh, sure. Okay. Though, uh, you actually have the boat axis up there, so... Whoops. Oh, oops. <laughs> Want me to help you speed this up? Sure. <laughs> okay, you're going to have to teach me how that works. <laughs> uh, so you got you got that, right? So you, you, got, you got torch there, right? Yeah. All right, put this up here. Okay. So do you, you break a block and then throw a torch in really quickly? Yep. So got this, this line here. Ah! Huh. That's pretty cool. Of course, you also took a bunch of full damage too by the end of the swing, but you know, I'm only marginally not evil, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and of course, this leads down to my massive mine situation. Yes. And as such, we could take that way out, or we could go back to the boat and, uh, and then probably call it an episode, eh? Yeah. So, yeah, welcome to the server. Um, hope you enjoy your missile experience, and uh, I'll be setting up a fair bit more of those uh, for quite some time. But uh, okay. I'm also going to be doing a bunch of that glass building stuff to enclose this entire thing, because remember, those missiles stop automatically whenever they run into a sufficient barrier. So, uh, if I put glass all around, then I can actually set up a series of missiles on this platform right here and send them all the way across. And then that'll clear out the entirety of the top level of the water. And then I move down and do it again. 
So pretty so straightforward. Yeah. Did you come up with the idea, or did you find someone else that um, had done it before? I suspect someone's done it before, but I did look up how to build a missile properly, because I'm kind of terrible at redstone. <laughs> yeah. Ha! Huh. No, you're leaving me without me. Get in the boat, loser. We're going to Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, want me to drop you off at your base? Sure. Thank you. All right. Um, sort of. Uh, at some point, I need to mark out where the center of this area is so I can start uh, doing the, uh, build the creeper tower. But, uh, yeah. but it's going to be somewhere, I guess. But uh, this also gives us a little preview of where I've gotten as far as the glass building of the walls. Da, da, da. Oh, man, that is huge. Yes. So this is the far side of it now. <laughs> well, I will continue sending you sand. Excellent. And I'll continue uh, harvesting from the desert. <laughs> yeah. So I was getting sand from, let's see, you're, you're south of me, right? Uh, maybe. Am I? If you're straight south, then I was getting sand from straight east of you. So that way. Yeah. So I don't know if you care about the appearance of the shorelines out there. Not really. I can't see them, so. <laughs> okay. So welcome back home. And I think I'm going to leave the episode here. So, uh, All right. so, uh, so, 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 so Jasper, uh, what things do people say at the end of YouTube videos? Uh, oh, um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and there's probably something else. Um, there's Patreon comment, um, oh, tell yeah. your, tell your children, tell your grandparents, um, you know, tell, tell the Jesus as well, just yeah. in case. Um, what else is there? Um, tell your children a second time, just to be sure. Also the, uh, okay. notification bell. Because oh yes, weird. notification bell. Cause yes. it's the algorithm. Um, yeah. The algorithms, man. Al Gore, <laughs> his rhythms have finally gotten us, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> uh, anywho, until next, everybody. Toodles. Woohoo! Toodles.